A very distinguished panel number two on news are tonight. Shiv Shankar Mukherjee, very distinguished former diplomat, Kamal Sibal, former foreign secretary of India, Safar Hileli, former Park ambassador to the US, with him Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao, well-known defense analyst, Syed Tariq Pirzada, strategic affairs analyst from Islamabad, and Maruf Raza. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Now we must settle this uh, on what Hina Rabbani Khara is saying. My first question, and I'd like to take this to, let's go point by point okay, on what Hina Rabbani Khara said. My first question to our guest from Pakistan, Sayyid Tariq Pirzada, is this. Hina Rabbani Khara says that after hearing the comments by the Indian Army Chief, I'm taken back a few 20 years. She says she's completely disturbed and that uh, if Pakistan wants to have a positive narrative towards India, etc., etc. Sayyid Tariq Pirzada, I will now quote to you what Hafiz Saeed has been saying. And tell me whether this is also something that uh, your foreign minister should be concerned about. He says, from the door of Kashmir, Excellent. we will launch Ghazwa Hind battle for Hindustan. On January 30th, he says, we will take revenge on India, starting from East Pakistan to Samjota Express. I'm not even repeating much of what else he has said because it is rabble-rousing to a point I do not want to encourage. But why is Hina Rabbani Khar not going back a hundred years when she hears that? Well, here is the answer to what you just said. You know, Arnab, uh, for the last several days, I've been participating in the Indian television shows, in your talk show and other talk shows, and there has been an emphasis on the point of teaching a lesson to Pakistan. And we saw the death of a Pakistani soldier this morning, and we heard about it. Uh, if you can dispute that, that's a different thing. But the Pakistani military authorities so, have so, confirmed so that the India, Indian, so hold on, hold would on. Would you like to on. answer my the question? Indian so side, yeah, I am coming to that. So an Indian, an, a Pakistani soldier has been killed. What I'm trying to say is, that you've been inciting, the Indian media has been inciting so, the Indian military establishment so I am, to the point of attacking Pakistan so aggressively. So and I'm that sorry. was the tone, hold on, so that, I, just a minute, just so, a second. Sir, I just that was the tone you. of the Indian I, I military chief. You. I want so, to ask you. So, Rabbani Kar is no. absolutely right. So, I wanted, you would not, I dodge my question. I don't know why you dodge my, my no, question. I'm not is, dodging you. My question is, Hina Rabbani Kar, I'm going, to, I'm going to break up Hina Rabbani Kar's comment on six parts. And I wish one day I have an opportunity to ask her as well. But Maruf, you know, let, let's, let's open up this debate right from the start. Maruf, you know, these comments of uh, Hafiz Abdul Rahman Maki and Hafiz Saeed, no response on either of any of this uh, from the Pakistani establishment. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Pirzada has again said that, you know, the, let's deal with it a few points at a time. The first is that Pakistani soldier may have died. I'm not disputing that. But on the line of control, whenever there is an exchange of fire, there is a possibility of soldiers getting killed. And soldiers who are deployed there lived with that fact. It's not now. It's been the case for more than 65 years. The pointed issue is they are not used to, and it's against the code of military conduct, to be subjected to barbaric acts. Now, the Prime Minister of India, who is very reserved, who's not given to making jingoistic statements, who's also gone against the national mood and initiated the peace process with Pakistan, who obviously has a big political stake in the peace process and confidence building measures. If he makes a statement to say it cannot be business as usual post the barbaric act, and he's used the term barbaric act and the beheading of soldiers. So obviously there is some consensus in the Indian establishment. It is not the media that is rabble rousing. It's not the military that Absolutely. is looking forward to go into an operation with Pakistan. Let me also bring to light that the Northern Army commander in his extended statement has also said we are not thinking and looking at war. But I think soldiers deployed on the ground need to have the opportunity to respond aggressively and to be able to give a response which is no, I, befitting I am, an exchange of fire. Now, people will die on our front. People. Now, I want to address the last point, and that is about Hafiz Saeed, Maki, and others. You see, the Pakistan army, 
Uh, it will not admit it, but as somebody has brought it out earlier, you know, you create a Frankenstein monster. Let me not talk of anybody else. The Rand Corporation report post-2611 very clearly articulates that these uh, Frankenstein monsters that Pakistan Army has created, and General Kayani has referred to them as strategic assets. Now, these are people who I, are now in such close consonance with the Pakistan Kiani Army. Has never that referred I am not them, pointing fingers. Kiani at, has never uh, referred to them as strategic assets. That's a distortion. He is referred to, sir. This is a telephone conversation. He has this never, is a recorded telephone Maru, conversation. We can have it sent to you facts. also. But let me, sir, no, please, let I me complete, no sir. I didn't interject. I staff, didn't interject, but you are sir. The fact. No, sir, he may, be, he, he may be a friend or a cousin of yours. I don't care. Please let me complete. What I'm saying to you is that these assets of yours have now gone out of the control of your system and they are bringing embarrassment to you. You don't want war with India. You want peace with India. Then get to the bottom of this matter. Settle it. Let's close the issue and let's move on. If Hira Ribani Khar is so keen on peace, Let and I think there's a to serious on. disconnect me, between her on, vision. Hold on, you've said it enough. Uh, uh, yeah, hold on, her, Maru, her, hold sir, on for a second. There is a, there is a serious on, disconnect. All. There is a serious disconnect oh, on. between We're her understanding and the situation on the ground. Just keep it, either keep it as an either she is not being Let's informed, go. or she, like everybody of you, is in a perpetual state of denial. She Get real, sir. Let's hear, let's, hear, let's, hear, let's hear from more from our Pakistani guests. Let me correct you on two things. Sir, may I, I may move on to our guests in Karachi? And, uh, j let me just. Let me Can just I move on to the rest of Hina Rabbani's half speech? Is, half is, just, just one second. Uh, whether it is Hafiz Said Maki, uh, Hafiz Said or Abdul Rahman Maki, these are the people who are who talking about the resolution of the Kashmir issue. Sir. And the entire country of Pakistan is talking about them. If you don't resolve the issue of Kashmir, there will be thousands of Hafiz Said and Abdul Rahman Makis, you can keep talking about that's them. That's exactly what I told you. You see, this is, you, sir, that is exactly what I'm saying. That's the point we are making, sir. That is exactly what we are making, sir. Thank Mr. you very Pirzada. much. Mr. Pirzada, I, I, I request you, sir. Mr. Pirzada, you know, Hina Rabani has tied herself up in such knots. Maybe it is her inexperience. But, sir, you'll tie yourself up in knots if you, if you actually justify uh, people like Hafiz Abdul Rahman Maki. My question to our guests in Karachi is this. Point number two of what Hina Rabani Khar says. She says, and, and, and uh, uh, Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao and Zafar Ireli, I'd like either of you or both of you to take this. She says, we are creating a precedence of not following war mongering. We would be happy to create a precedence of moving towards a dialogue process. And then she says, we need to always meet at any level. We need to constantly call each other. Now, my question to my guests in Karachi is this. She says doors to dialogue are open, but the evidence I have on the ground is that the Pakistani side took almost over 36 hours to respond to India's request for a flag meeting. You took over 36 hours okay. to respond to a flag meeting. Your actions belie your words, sir. I know we, uh, okay, uh, if you just uh, now listen to me carefully. Uh, I don't know why are you being unnecessarily aggressive. You are starting a war of words on television, on media. You want us to explain a lot of things that can yes. be dealt at DGMO's level, at the flag meeting, at the prime, uh, foreign minister's level. My uh, problem with the Indian media uh, is that you take foreign policy matters on the street to rickshawalas, to bus drivers, to people on the street. These are very sensitive matters. If we do that, if our media does that, as immaturely as you do that, we, our people will also say crush India as it has happened in the past. Let's grow out of that. Sir, These I, are very uh, serious matters sir, uh, of teaching yeah, a lesson uh, to Vice Pakistan Abid Rao, of taking I, I, a revenge. I, I, I'd say this yes. to you that with all respect and, and a great deal of humility, I do not have experience of... Yes. of, of of, of driving a rickshaw and I do not therefore understand the context of, of you your point. You don't have, but uh, and, I, I, and in I've, any case, I've seen in any case, case, sir, in India, any case, sir, your, no, your please, foreign minister says, the, sir, I'm is, telling you, Kav, I'm, I'm yes, telling you a pointed, pointed uh, okay, question. Okay, now, take now, my pointed question. having said that, no, take now my let, pointed me, let me come back to what your government has done that. No, no, I, I want you to answer has, my question uh, on why you don't respond in 36 hours for a flag meeting. No, no, uh, we have DJMO to DJMO talk. So you failed uh, to respond for a, for a flag meeting? Why? 
Well, what does that mean? That we want war with India? That means no. It doesn't what, mean no, so. no. What that means is no. What that means is Wha that Why? Hina Rabani Khan, uh, hockey players back. You have sent a cricket team back. You you have sent a trade delegation back. You politicize everything except peace. Sir, I please sir, uh, do sir, that you have, also. Uh, sir, you have beheaded uh -huh. our soldiers. And so I am only proving in, sir, to you that respect, that may be someone in, in the party with you. With you kept us despite every evidence indicating 2611 and the role of the Pakistani establishment in it, you have been in a state of denial about 2611. You've been in a state of denial of a number. I can quote you we para chapter not. and verse from writings in, from your your officers who have written and admitted. You have admitted. What, how there is a disconnect between those who are sent out to create problems and those who make certain speeches in favor of Pakistan in the international media. Hina Ribani Khar is your distinguished foreign minister, but she is the elegant face of Pakistan. But the world is not going to be misled by her anymore, sir. Those of us who know, they know there is a complete disconnect between what she is saying and what is happening on the ground. You want to pressurize the international community and use your presidentship of the UN Security Council and use America's services to try and internationalize the Kashmir issue by a flare-up out here. Why don't you stop Kashmir the whole is issue an by identifying that or Johnny or the jihadi uh, no, please, who has done also. what he has done Kashmir and close the matter. An international issue, but you are in a state of denial by not accepting for you, sir, that not Kashmir for us. Is an international issue. So the for question, you, sir, uh, not for it us. It may not be for you. We, for my, my question no, no, my is it is a part of the Union of India, call, and we do. Uh, for us, the matter is close. Why it. do we have a line of control there then? Why do we have a ceasefire line? Why do you have to build a uh, fence? Sir, do you want me to narrate? Permission? Do you want me or to narrate did. why the ceasefire line became the line oh, of I control? Can. I don't want to waste your time in history lessons, sir. Go back and refer to no, your no, notes. No, no, uh, uh, we we can go back to any limit. But look, what unfriendly gestures have you done? You have sent our hockey so players back only because there are ships and us. If you are very concerned, there, there was Balak Okay, okay one there. minute. Let's get there everyone in. Followers. Let's, let's get everyone people. Let's yes. get everyone in. You see, let's not compare something as trivial as seven hockey players, uh, you know, going back to 117 no, ceasefire Bal violations. No, it is Balak Bal since last 40 years. Sir, I am, we I am have only, never uh, sir, overplayed am, his role sir, in anti-Pakistan sentiment. Please, sir, sir, am I, am your I government cannot hold a cricket match in Mumbai because of him. So my point is this. I am looking at what Hina Rabani Khar says. Now, Hina Rabani Khar says, deep abiding commitment to a normalized peace process, etc., etc. This is the only way to... It's nice on a Charlie Rose show. But you know, repeated ceasefire violations, yeah, an interior minister, an interior minister who compares, compares Babri Masjid demolition yes. to 2611, makes an insensitive comment on Saurabh Kalia, when you try to raise the matter of uh, Kashmir at the UN General Assembly, 117 ceasefire violations. Why don't violations you hold joint investigations? So I am saying issues. today, I'm Kamal Sibal. Kamal Sibal, Mr. Yes. Kamal Sibal is you know what is the best way to take on this you know the Pakistani gobble, this this old this Hina Rabani Khar attempt at trying to woo the Americans with a bunch of lies. How is the best way to respond to this? Well, I don't think that he can succeed in wooing the Americans because there's now a huge gap uh, between the Pakistanis and the Americans uh, about Pakistan's uh, sincerity and credibility in tackling uh, the terror on the Western Front. Uh, so, um, yes, uh, if the Pakistani foreign minister goes to the United States, she will use the media to state her case uh, as best as she can. But I think uh, she's making a serious mistake in, uh, in uh, engaging in uh, rhetoric against India, uh, which uh, is not in consonance uh, with what the Indian government uh, has uh, tried to do in the last so many years in order to build greater trust between India and Pakistan. Now, this particular issue which we are grappling with would not have arisen had there not been a case of beheading, because the ceasefire violations take place, occasionally soldiers on both sides get killed. This is not the real issue. The real issue is the revulsion in the Indian public uh, about uh, the act of beheading. And, uh, and, the, and therefore it has built up, especially after the manner in which uh, uh, the public uh, raised once again the issue of the beheading uh, and mutilation of the body of uh, Captain uh, Kalia. 
Now, in doing this, the Pakistani side has uh, sent a message to us that what they had done 10 years ago, they can do it again with impunity, and India has no answer. Now, for the, for the Pakistani foreign minister, uh, after India protested about this beheading, uh, to say this never happened, that we've already made an inquiry, and suggesting that it was something that has been contrived by India, and saying that Indian protests are utterly, uh, completely unacceptable, and that she's appalled that, that these allegations are being made. But go back to what happened when our previous foreign minister went to Pakistan, SM Krishna, and in the joint press conference, uh, the Pakistan foreign minister didn't even mention terrorism as, a, as, as an issue between the two countries. And in a separate television interview, uh, she was surprised that uh, the Indian side was raising the issue of terrorism because she thought that there was no issue left. And when, as you said rightly just now, when the Pakistan interior minister came here, uh, he made even more offensive statements than what uh, the Pakistan foreign minister has made. But we tolerated them. Exactly. We let that go because there was no case of beheading and this kind of barbaric act that was involved. So the reaction in India is to this, and it should have been, it should have been better for the Pakistan foreign minister and the Pakistani establishment to actually have taken cognizance Why is she doing of this, this act and said that we will that we will investigate this yes and and if this has actually happened we'll punish those people who are involved yes. in this and then i think the matter would not have gone out of hand I but now she's gone ahead to say that if the billion indians ask, ask us questions we're not going to answer them yes. now this is showing contempt for for the indian public why, opinion why and indian she, sentiments i am i am intrigued uh, zafar hmm. why is she doing this now one part of it could be that she's insecure about her job there were reports she could be sacked recently Maybe she wants to make the Pakistani army establishment a little happy given reports of their increasing influence in Islamabad. But, you know, she's making factual mistakes, Zafar Ilin. She actually cited an interview earlier, the spokesperson of India's Northern Army Command, uh, saying that Hemraj has not been, Lalsnaik Hemraj has not been beheaded. Now, they were proven to be incorrect later. Why is a person who holds a position of Pakistan foreign minister doing this? Making factual mistakes, I think she is etc. etc. Yeah, why is she doing this? What is the incentive? I think she is not. She is saying exactly what a lot of people here think, that there are a lot of warmongers in India, mm. especially your army chief, right. and especially that trigger happy brigadier, and sometimes people on your channel. So what has she said, which is wrong? She, she you said, are uh, warmongers. She, she says you approach the system like that. You approach the issue like that. So why do you expect her to say anything no, else? She should, we should, I mean, a foreign minister, frankly, I am a foreign appalled. minister should not make I am, actual look, mistakes. Listen, listen, listen. First of all, let me start by mistakes. saying, yes. let me start by saying it is reprehensible for anybody to mutilate or cut off any head. It is reprehensible and we all think it's reprehensible. I'd have, I would have but liked to hear that from your foreign minister. That should be taken for I granted like that, that no civilized person. Why should she say that it is taken for granted? No, it's we not. Are not we, want to hear your who, we, are, we are not living We are not living in, the, in, you know, in another planet. For God's sake, it is barbaric. We have condemned it. And, and I tell you, I like what this gentleman said earlier, that if that is a possibility, it should be investigated. And there is no command. Here is an honorable former uh, Air Force man sitting with me. It is inconceivable that anybody should have given a command to anybody on that order. No, so don't but you think... Uh, having... Don't you why think don't you say that it's unfortunate? But then after that, you take off. And you start saying all sorts of things. And you are warmongering. Now, let me no, tell no, you sir, another you, thing else. Sir, I, I, you, Mr. Zafar Ilham, have you heard of a place? Mr. Zafar Ilham. Look, have you, have you heard of a place Mr. called Soran Patra? Your troops attack in response. By the way, in response to firing, which again, the previous gentleman was right in saying yeah. that firing takes place. Yeah. In response to that firing, the same trigger happy brigadier on your side sent over a patrol which came within 30 meters of the ceasefire line and killed a Pakistani soldier and critically wounded somebody else. 
द हिंदू ऑफ टेंथ जनवरी हैज सपोर्टेड दैट द फैक्ट दैट यू आर बिल्डिंग बंकर्स देर विच इज इन वायलेशन ऑफ द टू हंड्रेड एंड फाइव अग्रीमेंट एंड द टू हंड्रेड एंड थ्री अग्रीमेंट नाउ देर हैव बीन सेवरल टॉक्स बिटवीन योर डी जी एम ओज ऑन बोथ साइड नाउ प्लीज यू आर नॉट एज इफ यू आर नॉट लिली वाइट डोंट कम अक्रॉस एज लिली वाइट नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू से इफ यू वॉन्ट टू से दैट दिस वॉट इज हैपन टू योर सोल्जर इज बैड आई से इट्स वर्स दैन बैड इज रेप्रेंसिबल But if you want to take off from there, it damage the entire fabric of so the, the confidence uh, building measures so we have made, point. and take us in the direction so the limited, of war. So the limited you are, point. Your, your prime oh, no. minister is so the, not acting like a so statesman. So the limited He's point. Acting like a politician. So the limited point is that there is a man called Jalil Abbas Jilani, oh, no. who happens to be the foreign secretary of Pakistan. I have oh, never, no. in the life of me or in my experience, heard a foreign secretary. make a factually incorrect observation why is he doing so why why is the foreign minister of pakistan repeating that factual inaccuracy who is war mongering i don't understand that is the limit sir you i am I telling mean, you today I, that the sir okay. please let me ask please. you a counter question sir why do you think pakistan would like to posture for war at this state when I we have already why. too I many wonder, potatoes on our hand I, I can i answer why. that can i, I answer why. that Arun, Maruf has a quick reply. That? Maruf has a quick reply to that, and then I'm going to shift Shankar Mukherjee. Yes, Maruf Raza wants to respond to you. Go ahead, Maruf. Sir, quick points. One is that Mr. Jalali, though I'm in agreement with him, which is I'm very rarely in agreement with him, but on this one that it's reprehensible what has happened with the beheading of the soldier. But let me also tell uh, Mr. Jalali that. the brigadier he is referring to in the uri sector whose name has come up in the hindu article also which many people in india have dismissed as factually inaccurate but the brigadier was himself on annual leave he is not there he is normally in command of that brigade but when that act happened and which he is being pointed fingers at he was not in town one secondly why is pakistan wanting to do away with an escalate tension and do away with the peace that exists one pakistan would like the line of control to again become the center of debate and the attention of the international community to shift to kashmir two pakistan's got presidentship of the un security council it wants to use this occasion to draw as much international attention to it three pakistan wants to bargain with the americans but indians are ratcheting up tensions we want to shift troops back to the loc because pakistan is not happy with its commitment in the afpak region and finally and most importantly the, the army wants to enter in close to election time as a policy maker as a player in the socio political economic fabric of pakistan particularly post abhutabad when they lost the confidence of the people so the answers and, are there sir and and the facts here are and as i ask uh, Sh shiv shankar mukherjee to come in the fact is she also says that war mongering coming in from the other side of the border which i thought is the thing of the yester years you know sir right after the flag meeting there were five cease fire violations your attempt is to keep the loc hot and active these are the words of our northern army commander what we seen through it my question to shiv shankar mukherjee is if 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 in our rabani khan mr mukherjee uh, so allow me to put the history or a record of being a peaceful nation my my you question you have tried to be hegemonistic and my, bullying the smaller nations uh, for last uh, 65 sir, years sir my question to my is question to mr mukherjee country of india my my question uh, to mr mukherjee uh, is peace with india miss uh, air vice marshal hussein uh, uh, abid ra once i may i ask the question to shiv shankar mr mukherjee one would have expected Please. in a circumstance like this you know the foreign minister of pakistan would have probably said that uh, an incident has happened we are investigating it and that's it why is she trying to make instigatory comments without enough factual backup why is she doing this even risking making factual mistakes in the process one after the other well i <coughs> um i'll take up from where uh, my senior colleague erstwhile senior colleague kamal sibil uh, left off i find this uh, frankly entirely predictable uh, i've dealt with uh, pakistani propaganda as deputy spokesman as spokesman as an press officer in washington and uh, i find uh, the the whole uh, sequence of events from the pakistani side entirely predictable to to keep the line of control hot to draw attention to that uh in this time of course i think they overstepped the line uh by by this really barbaric act which is virtually indefensible 
but the the fallout from the from the Pakistani side, as 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 I said, been predictable. The always the technique has been after uh, something happens uh, which ratchets up the tension between India and Pakistan, for Pakistan then to take the very reasonable line that it is India that is, uh, that is trying to, to take advantage of the situation, uh, to, to try and uh, ratchet up tensions. It is Pakistan that is trying to be reasonable and adhere to the peace process and so on. So this kind of verbiage is going to be continued. We will have to... No. Uh, take as before measures on our side. No, to you pre no, you present uh, no, the I, correct picture, I, I, which, uh, which has been started at yeah, the that's UN true, by our government representative. No, no, watch it, Mr. Pirzada. Watch it. Let's look at what she says. She says our government has made pacifying statements. I have. I mean, people were shocked, Mr. Pirzada, when they heard Hina Rabani Khan, and I am saying this repeatedly. I am giving her the benefit of doubt. She is extremely inexperienced in matters of statesmanship and policy. Our consensus Please, in India is uh, that inexperience uh, is showing. Can I say something? That inexperience, right, let me, that, that let lack let of experience quickly, and, let me just quickly and address is showing, that. you know, when she says any statement, no, no foreign minister says, no foreign minister says, makes a comment well, like been, any statement from that, billions of Indians just, does not deserve a response. That is what I call unprovoked right, verbal firing. Let me just firing. quickly say that. Why, why would she say something? Let me like? just quickly say something. No, why would she say any okay, statement look, from billions of Indians does not deserve a response? Why would she say it's a, question, it's a very funny say. comment it's a very funny comment that we should consult india before we appoint a foreign minister of pakistan no no that's all that's your pakistan prerogative to appoint, appoint her as foreign hold minister hold on hold on yes. you are saying i'm not questioning that. and all that we cannot we cannot consult you yes. before we appoint so no, i'm not asking wishful for that. thinking number 1 no hold on no, number no. 2 why did she make that comment it was the indian army chief that exacerbated so why did she make a comment? He went on saying, why did she say any statement from he, billions of he, Indians does not deserve fellow, a response? The is Indian that the language Army of a foreign chief, minister? He is the one. He escalated the whole situation. Is that the language the of a foreign minister? Offensively, so the, he is the one who, one who talked about so one, one, one minute. So uh, entering into Pakistan sir, and, and, and attacking Pakistan. Sir, That's please. what he meant. So you are being. Uh, so when sir, you, you're, you're when not you have an army chief Mr. saying that, Mr. Uh, what do you expect from Hinara Pani Khar? She Pizzada, has to say what Mr. she Pizzada, said. Mr. you know what the army, the army chief. Sid spoke like an army chief. He says we are not going to be, you know, hitting no, them unnecessarily. He didn't speak. But, but, but like if they. A war no, 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 no. He, he spoke like a warmonger. And, uh, he was a warmonger. Uh, uh, I, mean, I hate to comment. say that, <laughs> but he, he acted like a warmonger. Ma Maruf, Maruf spoke is like a warmonger. Uh, why would she make a comment like any statement from billions of Indians does not deserve a response? I am intrigued. Or because not. the subject or was I can give you an put on the street. Yes. What? No, the or subject not. was not put on the street, uh, 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 Vice Marshal. The subject was made at a foreign let ministry ask briefing. Mr. Shiv Shankar, one question. He has predicted everything that has happened in the last few days. Can he tell me what will happen in the next two weeks on the uh, LOC? Will it get hotter or will it cool down? Number one. Number two, uh, when our foreign minister makes a statement like that. Yes, I why? I mean, I, I, as an ordinary citizen, have been saying the same thing that you have taken a foreign office related issue to the streets. So People streets. want revenge. Your air chief sir, has said that. I'm waiting for your sir, naval sir, chief to was say she so. Standing, was, was, was one minute, sir. Zafar Ilali, can you tell it's me? Because Air Vice Marshal, has, be Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao has raised the street argument again. Was, was Hina Rabani Khan standing yes. on a street corner trying to be a Kadri? Or was she a foreign no, minister no, at a press conference? Are, they're all uh, uh, in the... No, was, who was she addressing? Was she on a street corner? Or was she having a foreign ministry press conference? Why was she talking like that? Mr. Hilary, aren't you also intrigued? Aren't you worried? <laughs> intrigued. Uh, no, actually, I'm Can getting I, rather bored. I am. No, no, please go ahead. Don't be. No, I don't see what is, where is this discussion leading to? Sir, the discussion is on Hina Rabani I Khar. Hina, Hina Rabani Khar, after hearing what your army chief, air force chief, after seeing Pakistani hockey players being sent back, after seeing that relations will not be the same again, yeah. is wondering 
whether you people are letting as uh, uh, an incident, sir, can a I very unfortunate sir, incident. Can I point one thing to you, sir? Are you letting it detract? Are you letting two whole nations bent on an sir. agenda of coming together be spoiled by this? Sir, can and I the make amount of time you? you have sir, devoted you have, to this sir, you have made a, is really astonishing. No, no, I Zafari think Lely, that you sir. really don't Mr. want Mr. peace. Mr. Zafari you are Mr. people Hilali. who really believe. Mi now, what Mi I would Mr. say Hilali. is this. Mr. Hilali, may I point one factual uh, uh, inaccuracy just... in, your, in your observations? May I tell you why you are slightly factually incorrect today, sir? It is because... Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is because, uh, you know, you say that she got provoked by the Indian Army Chief. The Indian Army Chief's press conference happened after her press pre comments on this don't deserve a response statement. One. B, you say she provoked, got provoked by the seven hockey players uh, from Pakistan coming back. Her statement was before the hockey players no, went no, back. No, no, no. So no, this, no, I didn't so you say are factually, that. No, 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 I so mean, you, you really are. Very weak you're grounds, not. Sir. It's not. You're, you're not dealing with facts. Factually. Now you're twisting them he and negative. Uh, I mean, for God's sake, inverse you, nationalization. Yes. So your observation. Ab your your listen to me. We Hina Rabani Khar, Hina Rabani Khar was astounded that an incident on the ceasefire line, however reprehensible if true, should have take, been taken up by the, uh, your, okay. your, I mean, by the, by the media yeah. in India and by the uh, government by of, the India people of India in such a manner as if to, yes, we the are, uh, we are trying to get rid of terrorists. Yeah. And all you do is take a statement by some mad terrorists who no, we are I'm, trying to no, get I'm at not, and say not, this reflects I am, Pakistan. I am, I am, I am taking, this is being order. irresponsible. So I am taking the Worse than that, it's warmongering. Sir, it's I'm, you're I'm using the any excuse and Rabani every Khana. excuse Sir, to, I'm, to I'm prejudice taking, the outcome of the talks. I, I'm taking the statements of Hina Rabani Khar, sir. And, and, and she's the foreign or minister. No. She's not a terrorist. I, I want to. I want to go across to Maruf to, to respond. Ma Ma Maruf, Maruf, is, Maruf has his hand up. Maruf, no. please. Sir, sir, sir. With respect, sir. I just want to. I've elaborated earlier in my understanding, limited understanding. Why would Pakistan like to escalate the situation? Why? I gave four or five points. Yes. Why would you like? My question to you, sir, and you are distinguished. Your understanding sir, is please. My question is that Pakistan why, is not escalating oh, sir, the situation. please, sir. It is India that is Mr. Peer Zada, Mr. Peer Zada, Mr. Peer Zada, I give you respect. I deserve respect. If you can't speak to me like a gentleman, shut up. Please understand that India has no interest no. in no, escalating the situation. The we have no, never no, asked for a third party intervention. You we have, we have never asked. Okay, okay you gentlemen, I have the Kashmir you. issue. I you have, you have internationalized the you Kashmir, Kashmir manner, issue. Shut up. We don't have to. It is. You don't have. Get up there. Because here. every time I okay. speak, you interrupt and you give your accentuated diatribe, which means nothing to me. Please you give me factually. Please give me factually. Why would you? Facts. Why would you? Please you give me factually. Why would we internationalize you know the, the Kashmir issue? The facts are. The I know enough. Like I know enough. You can't even. force us to resolve the issue of Kashmir. You don't want the issue of Kashmir to be discussed. Shimla agreement. Shimla agreement apart. Uh, Shimla agreement about you line of control and the ceasefire line and the UN resolutions. I can quote you para chapter and work. It might be interest of you to you that I've written a book on Kashmir which has sold more in Pakistan than in India. So I know what I'm talking about. What I want to ask you is what is our interest in internationalizing the issue? I've told you what is your interest. Can you tell me what is our interest? I would not speak for you. Let me just make one comment to Who you is uh, that India has always maintained a bullying attitude towards smaller neighbors. You see your 66 years of history, which neighboring country of India is happy with India? You start from Bhutan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Pakistan and so many others that I tell you. What, you if you want to look big, behave like a big country. So you this, want uh, to wear bigger shoes than what you are? I mean, uh, please. Uh, at nations, uh, no. when we talk Mayor bilateral, I, we I, talk like I, that. I want to, I want yes, to get in. Yes. I, I want to get in, uh, Kaval Sibbal. And I want to say this to all. Yeah. I have great regard for all our panels. I am only making a point here today. That I, and, and, and Zafar Hilali knows this. He's been coming on our programs. The sentiment across India is very strong. So when we see a foreign minister of Pakistan trip over her own comments, 
in the way that she has. There is both concern at why she is doing this, and I'm sure privately in senior circles in Pakistan too, people would be concerned because you know a foreign minister can I'm either saying a, a foreign minister, a foreign minister, you know, has to maintain a certain decorum on an issue. I want Kamal Sibal to come in on this. Kamal Sibal, now we need to look a little forward. Let's leave Hina Rabani Khar aside. What is your message yes. to our guests in Karachi and in Islamabad tonight? Now, I would say that what is happening is extremely unfortunate and this could have been controlled right at the start. That's true. If uh, what one of the panelists from Pakistan has just said that the act of beheading was reprehensible had been said by the Pakistani foreign minister right at the start, then I can guarantee exactly. you that, n that exactly. nothing would have happened on our exactly. side because we have made such an investment in the peace process at the governmental level and in trust building with Pakistan that is simply not in our interest to escalate the issue. And mind you, we asked for the flag officers meeting. Uh, it's not the Pakistani side that asked. That's Despite true. the statements that came from the air chief and the military chief, we asked for the meeting, which goes to show that we were concerned about not allowing the situation to escalate, despite the provocation. And the subsequent statements have come because from the Pakistani side, not only there is no recognition of the enormity of what has happened, but there have been insulting comments uh, from the Pakistani foreign minister herself to the effect that India has artificially created this issue, that this thing never happened. And then she goes on further to say uh, that uh, let Un Mogip investigate this. And she has already said that we have investigated and nothing has happened. Now let me ask you, that After question is to Zafar, Zafar El Ali. Pakistan has committed itself, yeah. has stated formally that this incident didn't happen. Does she expect that after a joint investigation, Pakistan will step back and say it actually happened and admit this? She's actually saying what the Pakistan army is telling her. I That's won't. it. And I think uh, she's making a mistake. And it is time even now from her side to cool down the rhetoric and, uh, and find some way of reaching out to India through the back channel or whatever else D to try and control things. And Z Zafar El Ali, Zafar El Ali, last response. Let me say one last no. thing. Okay, let okay, you complete your point, thing. then I'll let get a response from, from Mr. El Ali. Yes, yeah, complete but, your point, one, Mr. One, one last thing. Yes, sir. The Pakistan Embassy, the Pakistan Embassy is here. Yeah. It is headed now by their former foreign secretary. They have seen the passionate reaction in India on the Captain Saurabh Kalia's case. Now, after this incident happened, I would have thought professionally for the Pakistan ambassador here or high commissioner here to tell the government, be careful. The sentiment in India is very anguished on this issue. And therefore, if an allegation of this kind has been, has, has been made, treat it uh, with the seriousness and find some formulation which, uh, which leaves the door open to a proper investigation and punishment of, of persons involved. And finally, with regard to rabble-rousing and this and that, what are Hafiz Saeed and Maki and everybody else that doing constantly, constantly uh, rousing the street against us on so many issues? So these are the rickshawwalas and everything else on Pakistan that are being mobilized to do what? To launch a jihad against India. Nobody from the Indian side is talking of any sort of a religious, a religious war against Pakistan. Would our guests in Karachi oh, like to respond to Kawasaki? I have an example here. right here. I, I, if, I have a, if I may have a minute, Mr. Pishada, I, have an I was giving the floor that. to Mr. Hilali. Uh, may I please request Mr. Hilali to respond to Mr. Kawal Sibal there, sir? You see, first of all, Hina Rabbani Khar, like any civilized human being, could not believe and cannot believe that a professional army would take such a step. So the first thing that she should have or did do was to call up and say, is this true? Now, when you don't believe something is true, when you know it's reprehensible, why is India thinking that her subsequent comments take into account that it was reprehensible and further that she agrees with it? What she is saying is, we are, we've been told it didn't happen, and if it happened, it's reprehensible. But what I want to say is, let's approach this sensibly. Let's not start warmongering. Let's not take the hard work that has gone into repairing relations and all the goodwill that has come out of people-to-people -people relations. Let's not put that to waste by taking this issue up and and pretending as if 
this is the uh, what shall i say i mean this is what pakistan only does so today does she have to say do i have to say that if you are if you something unfortunate happens to you do i have to say that it is very reprehensible it's sir, taken for granted yeah, sir, i don't wish is taken anybody for granted. to no, have sir. suffered no uh, sir yes. it's not taken uh, come on simple quick can response to that comment. a pakistani guest says comment. take it for granted no, no. watch a come on simple very brief can response can i make one Mr. Kawal no, Sibal, no, 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 Mr. Kawal Sibal, responding to Zafar Ali, please. To Mr. Halali, no, no, this, no. this is an absurd statement. That if something reprehensible happens, then we should assume that Pakistan mentally is of the view that it is reprehensible. Why not say it? Why not say it? Am I shall row? If you if you mean it, why? If you mean it, say one minute. Bolte yes, jau, three days back, I was on two Indian channels and I said exactly what you are saying that if it has happened, it is extremely condemnable. But you are not Because the foreign minister. We are two professional armies. We don't doubt Indian army so and they and should not doubt us. You and Mr. Hilali. Just listen to me, please. Indian army has, uh, I mean, should remember that very recent past, uh, one of their helicopters strayed into Pakistan and it was the same army Sorry. who serviced that helicopter, returned people with safety and honor. We are not there to make war. This is not the most suitable sir, today, time. But you are provoking us into that sir, situation. Today, today, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. No, no, Mr. Uh, Prime Minister. Uh, Air Marshal. Yes. Air Marshal, today. Yes. Today, we have an official release, uh, which says that after the DGMO meeting, the Pakistani forces have uh, promised to observe restraint. In other words, in plain English, is they have promised <laughs> yes, so to behave themselves. Let me say this, sir. This official release. <laughs> it will be watched. Zafar Ali smiles there, but it will be the, watched. Pakistan is so very much. So have you, damn it! I mean, for God's sake, it, we have both the DGMOs. Why are you only saying that we sir, did it? Sir, that uh, is sir, where your high-handedness well, comes. You want to make a wrong statement, and you want us to believe and acknowledge sir, sir, the way is, you want. Sir, this, this is not is, right. Sir, this is as wrong no, a no, statement. No, no, it's as par the, for the course. Don't yes, worry. Sir, this is as wrong a statement as your foreign secretary's statement a couple of days back. But in any case, sir, Hina Rabani Khair on seven points today. You even, even the both of you in Karachi find it difficult to defend her. Why she has said what she said? No, no, we are not. Why, I, no, why no, no, she, no, no, I'm why, proud why of her. She's, why she's no, saying no, no, this no. is, oh. a, is one of, of the great uh, mysteries. In it's, 1971, it's, it's, you provoked Pakistan into this yes. situation. Sir, it's one of the great... When uh, you hijacked yes. Ganga, uh, one of your Indian airlines, Fokar Rupal Lahore, I, I don't, and created a situation like that. Sir, I put this question Pakistan to you. Pakistan is not interested I in war. I put this question to you. Pakistan is not interested in Why does a foreign minister display maturity that we'll never come to agree on but i have a right to put that question to I, my I, to my guess to my we, guess thank you very much we can say that about you no. prime minister but it, it doesn't solve anything yes well i hope i have the opportunity to ask hina rabani khan those anything. seven areas on which she went totally wrong and a few questions on hafiz said as well let's see if she has the courage to reply gentlemen thank you very much for debate number 2 tonight thank you